Welcome back to another episode, and we are flying in quick today. As long as I try not to smash my face into the wall, quick into the uh, copper shop. That's not the copper shop. I'm not re-recording that. It's the concrete shop, of course. I thought we would have a little look, see what we've done in here. Have we made any diamonds or we've made a few in the grey? We haven't made any in the light grey, none in the white. Okay, fine. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what? Not a crazy amount of diamonds. Is there some in the yellow? I haven't got a lot of concrete actually made up. Mostly just powder still. But that is going to change today because even though these haven't been bought out, I mean, it's actually not been that long since I last recorded that clip in the last thing. I haven't even told people actually about the concrete shop. In fact, you know what? By the end of today, which actually it's, it's already 7 p.m. So uh, by the end of today, whenever it is I, I finish today, tonight, probably very, very late. I'm going to post that the concrete shop is uh, over here and to go and buy some if you need some. And you know what? I'm going to say that we are going to be stocking that as much as possible because today in this episode, we are making a concrete farm. Yes, a really, really amazing one. Uh, one that's quite large to make and quite a, uh, quite a, probably a hassle. <laughs> in fact, it's going to use some TNT and well, if you know how those TNT things go, uh, you know that uh, the TNT, well, Firstly, you know that TNT is dangerous and, uh, you know, danger is not my middle name. But you also know that I'm not a redstone expert. In fact, I'm probably not an expert at most things. So it's actually going to be pretty tricky to make. But before we get on to building that concrete farm, I think I showed you the spot last time. Here is the uh, next circle. Yes, another circle. A third, a fourth, and well, I was going to say a fifth, but that one was already there. We now have more circles in here. Yes, this one is also going to be built up. This, in fact, is going to be a building, though. These are kind of just outer walls. This one's going to be a building. And you know what? I've been thinking of, like, being the next step. Other than underneath here, which is where the concrete farm is going to go, I really want, want to work in this, like, this area? Or, like, maybe... Where's the next, where, where's the next walkway going to be? We've got a walkway here right now. In fact, I have actually worked on the uh, block palette here a little bit. I decided to make it a bit rougher in the middle. Um, and make some more stone around the outside so that hopefully it looks a bit more natural. I quite like it. I quite like it. It's very subtle, but uh, it does tweak it a little bit, which is my aim with this, because obviously you know that I just spammed basically every block I have. <laughs> and well, I think I, my plan is to make this sort of covered. So I'm hoping today at some point I get to do that, but I'd need a lot of deep slate for that, and I don't have a feeling we're going to be getting that. So I don't know. Maybe we'll try something. I kind of want to put like a horse pen or something in here. Because my horse has just been hanging out over there. You can sort of see just through the trees. So that might be a little side quest we try to do today. But the main quest is going to be all the way very much at the back of my base in here. In this big old hole that I've dug. Not to bedrock. To uh, level 40 actually. A lovely, a lovely ni nice easy number. And as you can see by looking up, I do have a bit of a plan as well for what to build around it. So uh, I guess, you know what, let's start this episode nice and quick and get going with a concrete farm. Let's do it. But before we fully go into that, I did want to quickly put in this little bit of a time lapse here where I did build a little bit on the exterior of my base and uh, moved into the interior, which will in fact line up with the concrete farm itself. And that is just a little bit of a flooring with just some spruce slabs to make it nice and cheap and cheerful. And just to give sort of a little bit of a refined area that isn't just like grass and terrain that is normal. But uh, from here, we're going to actually start building a little bit with copper, which is going to be sort of the uh, the second block palette or part of the second block palette we're going to be bringing in for the second theme, because there are technically going to be two themes going on here. And so the copper farm, we are going to start bringing in some copper. So let's do that. Okay, well, the walkway is now done. And uh, so we are on to the redstone. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through all of this, but I do want to bring you back in for some of the maybe more scary parts because, uh, yeah, TNT is involved and uh, I'm scared. But before we get onto that, we need to get onto something a little bit less scary down here, which would be this big pool of water here. And uh, it's not quite a river, but it is a pool of water. And uh, I thought that uh, it would be good to put in before I put in the redstone above because anything that falls down here will then fall into here and I'm thinking I've either got this hole here or I could put a little hopper in a chest I'm probably going to grab it before it despawns so this will probably be fine and the, 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 there we go also I've got a bit of a thing going on here I'll, I'll explain later 
what we're doing with the design but uh it's meant to look a little bit tatty and that it does and so we're going to keep the area down there where the chests will go the collection point pretty simple for now although i did want to put the detail into the water first because that's going to be a pain to do later because i've already messed up the uh, the water once there isn't a clip of that definitely not, not on the screen right now no i didn't i definitely did do that definitely didn't fill the whole thing with water so it just didn't flow i wouldn't do such a thing that'd be silly that's very silly of me. But no, we're going to add the detail down there later. But uh, I think it's now time for the daunting part of the redstone above. So <laughs> let me get my redstone out of the box. And uh, yeah, we're going to do this part. It's, it needs to happen. It needs to happen. Let's just hope it works pretty quickly. Well, I'm not sure if an hour is a, a quick... Or, but you know, that's how long it took. Um, And I think I'm ready for the redstone -y, Not the redstone, the TNT. The TNT part. Now, I will say that I... Oh, I've got a... Why is there a block there? That's weird. I don't know why there's a block there when there's a ladder there, but whatever. Uh, now, there is actually a change I can do up here with the redstone to make this work better. Now we're on 1.20 and I'm going to try and do that, but I'm going to try and make this work beforehand because that requires me to edit it and I want to make sure it works without me editing the redstone. Because yes, actually, I, there was a comment on the video and I was like, you know what, I don't quite fully understand that, but I played around with some repeaters in a single player world and... Uh, you know what? It kind of worked. Anyway, I need I need to think. I believe put put the detector rail down last, or not last, but like after the TNT. So I'm hoping this is correct. But then one thing I think that's probably not correct. Oh flip is probably the TNT. Oh god! Don't explode everything. You're gonna explode everything, aren't you? What happened? Did you break something? Well, the TNT's gone. <laughs> I was about to say uh, the the issue is the wait. Did I break something? The repeaters are still down here. This is dark enough. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this with Gamma on just so we can all see because I don't want to have to brighten it in post. Well, the TNT's gone, yes. Oh, I think the guy must have meant the opposite. Which is what I thought, that you put the TNT after the detect... You know what? Let's just get another TNT. I'm sure, I'm sure I've got plenty of TNT just to spare, right? Okay, time for take two. We're going to put the TNT in second. I think it goes here. Let me double check. It does. Now, I think it's going to go off straight away. It is. So how do I put that down without the detector rail going off? Like, I don't understand that. Huzzah! Did it work? Oh, ho, 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 ho! Now, this thing is currently too fast for me to get all of these in here, but let's try it anyway. It'd be very, very loud. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near as many as I need to. As you can see, it's working. Oh, I've got no collection system. Oh, God. Why did I... Anyway, it's working. It's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Anyway, that's all I need. That's all I need. Turn off. Turn off now. I need to be used to be voice activated. It works, right. All I need to do is place that TNT when the thing was pulled back, which I thought was going to be the case, but, uh, you know. Um, uh, you know. I thought, well, that'd be weird. Surely you'd be able to place it before the, without turning the farm on. Maybe you can. I don't know. I can't, My brain can't think of how to do that, okay? <laughs> I'm not a red, I haven't got a redstone brain. Uh, I'm not like, you know, these mumbo jumbos and stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, right. So, let me think. Let me think. I think. Well, firstly, let me explain. This is actually going to be the, the bit where I chuck all the, t the uh, concrete powder in. Um... So, and that, that'll feed me. Now, the problem is, this is going to feed me probably too quickly. Uh, so that, that's one thing we have to slow down, which I believe needs a repeater up in this section. So I think what I'm going to do is grab some repeaters, and I will show you what I'm doing, just to change it, just in case this does actually work, and I actually make this work. But long story short, obviously, you only saw that I wasn't, I wasn't able to basically place all of the concrete powder in a row, which is what you need. Where is my redstone box? Is the redstone box somewhere? Where is it gone? Is it this one? Is it this one? No, I don't have enough repeaters. Dang it, I need to go get some. <laughs> Story of my life. Go get more blocks, folks. Go get more blocks. You've, you've run out. Okay, the main redstone box is in my hand. So let's chop this down. Drop it down over here. Uh, now I've got... Oh, <laughs> I need to craft some more repeaters. <laughs> this is fine, guys. This is all going fine. It's all going swimmingly. I think I need at least at least three. Now, I'm going to use my screenshots um, that I'm going to bring up. Uh, basically, what I did in the creative world, I basically wanted, wanted to just check that it didn't just, like, explode the whole thing, what I'm going to do. But let me double-check them, and we will try and fix this thing in inverted commas, you know. Because long story short, it's basically too quick for itself. 
So the first repeater I chucked in over here uh, to slow this bit of redstone down. And that's on, I think this is three ticks, right? When you place it, that's one tick. And then any, any extras is like two, three, four, I think. And then the other one slows down the, uh, this bit, this bit when I get there, this bit here. Because uh, this is also too fast. And I think there was one meant to be one other bit that I can't. I might have to double check that there wasn't another one. But basically, this is on the full. I think this is four ticks. Yeah, click it three times. It's four ticks. Um, let me double check there wasn't another one I put down. I have a feeling there was four repeaters. I know I needed one over here with a block on a piston or something. But I couldn't work out which piston. So <laughs> we're going with my method to see if it works. And if it does, <laughs> I don't want you guys saying that I'm not a redstone ever again. I mean, no, you can. It's totally fair. I'm not a red sooner. It's not me. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is the Little Mango's design. I'm sure you guys already know this, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. The 72,000 per hour one that isn't obviously that anymore, probably because of the, you know, 1.20 and stuff. Okay, I did check and yeah, I didn't actually make a, I didn't, I didn't do anything else. It was just those two things. Uh, these are meant to be on for three ticks if you do the other, the, the tweak that I couldn't work out. But I put them on four, and I think I put maybe that one's on the, the higher than it was going to be. But anyway, let's see if this now means I can now place four. And, you know, well, let's like, let's see if I got a bigger stack than the, that. 48, I got bigger, oh, 57, 57. Let's see what we do with these 57 light grey concrete. I don't think there's any other light grey concrete down there. Cool, let's see how many we get. Let's hope it's what lossless. I, I think it should be. Although, actually, they're going to get stuck in the machine. You know, I'll do this, and then I'll, like, try and get rid of all the grey with one of the other colors. Okay, let's try it out again. See if I can place more, almost. I mean, single player, this worked fine. Oh yeah, 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 wait, it's working. Yeah, 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 okay. This is actually work, this is actually working. So let me get, get uh, the blue as well. See if we can move the gray out of the way. And you know what? This is actually working kind of great. Let's see how we're doing. Some fell in the hole as well. 54 okay so not completely lossless there unless it's stuck in the i actually think i've mis made a mistake here because i think that that actually that shouldn't be like it kind of catches the the blocks in the oh god it's got dark again but this actually catches the blocks here which is not great so i might have to get rid of the that extra bit in the middle but yeah okay we didn't get every single one they might be in fact let's use this real quick let's use freaking just to see if the light gray is still in here somewhere oh actually it is so 54 55 56 57 58 59 did I have already some in there? Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I did. But uh, either way, or I've just duplicated, or I found a way to duplicate concrete. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, it, it works, right? It did work. Uh, how much did I get of the other colors? I didn't remember how many I put down, but you know what? That's pretty good. So yeah, you do kind of leave some in the farm, but you know what? Other than it potentially being spawnable, I've tried making it unspawn unspawnable with the, with the glow like which actually I think has worked. I'm using this because, oh yeah, that block there is, but it doesn't really matter because it's inside the farm. That is one, but you know what? That's okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. GG, false. GG. You've even fixed the red... I even did some redstone. I even fixed the redstone. <laughs> but I didn't understand how to fix. I did it, guys. I did it. I'm actually a redstoner. Certified redstoner. False symmetry. You, you, you heard it here first. Just don't remind me because I don't want to have to do it again. <laughs> And so speaking of redstone, before we get too crazy with this, I'm going to do some designing work because you know what? I deserve it. I deserve to do some building. So I'm just going to go ahead, roll time lapse, and I will catch you on the flip side when hopefully these walls are a bit more covered because nighttime may have scared me a little bit. Look, it's dark. Even though I know that I light up things really well, it's dark over there, okay? There's creepy corners all around the place, I'm sure. They just aren't actually visible anywhere. Look, there, there's one. There it is. Very spooky. <laughs> Let's get building. So I just finished up doing a bunch of uh, stuff and uh, these blocks not real or something. Like what's happening here? Why? Why can I not? Oh, oh. Uh, oh, this is... Weird. Whoa, magic. Magic happened. Anyway, sorry, the audio is off because TNT be loud. And you know what? Let's turn it back on to go down here to see how this looks. Oh, ho, ho. 
Okay, okay, okay. Now I have worked out while I was doing the more like, you know, a lot more concrete that uh, there is a certain point where I, I'm right clicking into it and the piston itself is like, you know, not allowing me to like allowing it in quick enough, I guess. Not sure about how best to explain that. Um, but I think that is the one timing thing that I do need to work out. But uh, this is okay because you know what? This actually didn't take that long. I've got Skizz's stream open on the on my other window. You know, I'm just just you know getting some stuff done, just getting it done. Um, I don't know if I love that that this is how it like puts them all in here. Um, but you know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be, be a bit more organized when I do this again in the future, and there'll only be like three colors at the moment. I'm basically just open to every color. <laughs> Because, of course, I don't know, you know, I want to just stock up every color. I know that gray and white will be popular as well as black probably too. Um, in fact, saying that, I was going to have time to try and make a cactus farm today, but I literally have run out. I've, this has taken so, so long. So much longer than I thought. Okay, so I've gone up here as well. Interesting. Why do I feel like I've like lost some? I don't think I actually have. But it... Oh, no, I, don't, I can't have. Look at that. Like, that one's so full. Oh yeah, no, and these are pretty full. Oh yeah, no, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. I can't have lost any. Uh, so, you know what? I will take this. This is actually a really great experiment. And you know what? It's a bit slower when, when that the issue I just mentioned happens, but it works. And I don't have to stand there, you know, with one thing in my left hand, one thing in my right hand, you know... <laughs> Trying to find all the flying blocks everywhere. Now, they don't even go this side. I don't think it does. Okay. Basically, that's how the water goes. It goes, drops down there into that water, and then it does slide along. And so, yeah, any little bits will go in that, those ones. But I guess the more colors, the more it will end up down there. So it will fill up all the hoppers. But anyway, there we go. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to go over and quickly stock this up in the shop now. Just to see where we're at with the shop. And see if any uh, particular colors are needed. Or even I could grab the powder from there and turn it into into concrete. But I think I, I'd rather craft new and just leave some powdered over there. I always need to grab myself some more honey because I keep keep forgetting to always uh, do that with some of the things, as you can see. But uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's uh, not perfect yet, but we'll we'll get there. And so here we are. Um, and whoa, okay. I was worried that that wasn't gonna end well, uh, landing that harshly. But whatever, we're fine. So I think it's time I just literally grab all the stuff. Let's grab the colors by like where they might be in the shop. I'll probably make this bit more organized of a system when I get around to it. But there you go, the whites and the, the grays and the concrete's going to go at the bottom. So concrete here and concrete there and the powder and the powder. Did I just literally do that the wrong way around? Oh no, I did it the wrong way around. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not sleep deprived or anything. It's fine. There you go. Beautiful. So yeah, powder in here, concrete's in there. Oh yeah, you know what? I think people will understand that without necessarily having anything. Um, so yeah, let me fill this all up and uh, I'll see what else I can do about making a little bit extra. But I have a feeling I am not going to have time right now. But you know what? I will let them know, as I did say. It is still the same day. It's almost midnight. So, <laughs> I got everything done in the time frame I gave myself. So you know what? I could give myself a pat on the back for that too. You know what? I've done I've done good this episode. I'm just not gonna read the comments that probably say, false, you're actually an idiot, you've done this wrong. <laughs> I always guarantee it. But anyway, we have done good here. We have done good. I am happy. I'm very happy. Question. Do you hear that little noise? Let's uh let's go let's go see. In fact, I want to show you what I've been up to because you guys might have a... Uh, suggestions here but look someone on stream told me about alleys and how they work with the note blocks now this one's stuck oh look he constantly gets stuck in that that uh the scaffolding which is a bit of a pain but look at this i have myself a little collection set up here <gasps> and there's six ink sacks in there have you been actually collecting them you have okay so fun fact, uh, squids keep dying along here. They keep dying. They they keep landing up on these uh on these bits here, getting stuck in the boat and then suffocating, basically dropping their ink sac. And this guy, because he's got an ink sac, and because he's getting constantly called back to the note block once he picks one up, he is grabbing them 
and then taking them back. In fact, let's see if I can get a squid real quick. It is getting a little bit dark out here, but let me grab this squid uh, and his ink sacks. There is one little thing, though, I will say that is a bit of a pain with this. One, I have heard that they can go missing because... <gasps> he done it naturally. Did he do it naturally? Did he just find one? <laughs> He's like a scavenger. He just goes off. Anyway, if I throw one over there, for example, he will come zooming by. The only thing I, that is a little bit wrong here is that sometimes I will chuck it there. And it won't float back up again because of the fact that the bottom layer of the water isn't always a source block. But look, this guy is going to wait here. Now, it's a shame he can't go down and get it. I really wish they added that so that he can. But you see that little ink sack floating up? He's going to go and grab that. And then, because there's a note block pinging, which, by the way, I've used the, uh, the micro blocks. And that has meant that basically, yeah, look at him. He's, he's working away. Look, I'm going to give him some more. Get those in there. What if I pick up, what if I chuck six on the floor? Go and grab those instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying, he's trying to throw it basically at the note block. So he is missing occasionally these uh, hoppers. This was basically a little bit, just a bit, a bit of a test. Um, I knew that the accuracy of them wouldn't be, <laughs> wouldn't be ideal. Um, but you know what, generally speaking, he's only ever going to have the one to potentially keep throwing in. But I do wonder if he lets them despawn. Probably not, actually. I am going to have to at some point upgrade this so it doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't do that though, but yeah, let me get them all out of here because I'm going to be leaving uh, soon and I'm going to leave him here. Now, one, I'm going to test if he's actually still here when I get back. Uh, it'll be great. He's the one with the ink sack. The other two are just teacup uh, guys. They are also on a lead, so they should hopefully stay where they are. But this guy might wander off or... um, I, And the other thing I guess I want to test is whether or not I'm going to end up with uh, more than, you know... Well, more than zero because there's zero in there right now. I'm not going to put any more in there myself. Or feed him any. <laughs> he is purely on his own uh, on his own accord right now. He does keep getting stuck in here, which may be why he keeps going into that. I wonder if he can, can go down in that. I might block that off and potentially get rid of this trapdoor while I'm gone, just so he can't keep letting himself in. But it does actually look like he let himself back out again. Okay, that's actually really quite cool. He's actually got his own little entrance and exit. He accidentally presses the pressure plate. And then he lets himself back out again because he's like, I'm stuck. I have noticed him up here, though, at this trapdoor, though, at the same time, because he thinks he can get through there and he can't. So this has actually been a really, really interesting, like, you know, uh, process with this ally. Just learning how he works. He's learning how I work. And I'm just, like, working, working out what to even do with him. Yeah, look, he's back in here somewhere. I don't think he's got quite stuck down there yet. I hope he doesn't ever get stuck down there. But, you know, he's stuck in here again. I think maybe the trap door out it might help you, but I think I'm gonna block it up from the outside if I can. <laughs> Try and let him be, be, be free, and then, uh, yeah. In fact, I'm gonna, you know what I'll do? I'll put that on the inside so he can let himself back out again via that. And then, I don't know, I, yeah, I'll have to block that. Let me, let me block it real quick, let me block it real quick. But anyway, that is sadly all the time I have for today's episode. It has been a quick one because uh, this technically time zone wise, or time frame wise, I guess, <laughs> is actually recorded before the Hammercraft stream weekend. Yes, that has happened apparently. And hopefully, hopefully it was good and stuff. I, I don't know. I can't tell the future, sadly. Um, oh, oh, I guess it's a good thing. That would give me absolute nightmares. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have uh, a fix for the farm that's a bit more permanent and makes sense because I couldn't understand the comment. I'm sorry, person that had the really helpful comment. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with the farm. I'm really glad that we did it. And um, there we go. The first thing technically in my base that is a, a not really a build, but a, but, but a farm. But a farm, the first thing in my base, a farm. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it, eh? False symmetry, building a farm as the first thing. I guess uh, we can blame the permits for that one. Blame the permits. <laughs>